Hello and welcome back to another IB Max speedrun with me, Vince. Uh, in this speedrun, we're going to be continuing our exploration of differentiation by continuing with um, the quotient rule. Yeah, so let's jump right in. So we looked at the product rule last speedrun, which said that if you have something like f of x is equal to u, actually, I don't like this notation. It takes too long to write, in my opinion. So, although it is useful in some cases, um, if we're simply doing differentiation, I prefer y. So, if we have some equation y is equal to uv, then dy over dx is equal to d y, um, du over dx times v plus u times dv over dx. So yeah, um, but what happens if we're dividing them? Well, there's another trick we can use called the quotient rule. And so if we have y, say a function is equal to the quotient of two functions. So y is equal to u, u over v, then dy, why is it so laggy today? dy over dx will be equal to um, v times du over dx minus u times dv over dx all over v squared. So yeah, this is a rule we can use when we're dividing stuff. And let's jump into some questions to see how to use it. I'll be doing the odd ones today. You know, actually, no, I'll do the even ones. I think the even ones are a bit harder. So first we need to differentiate y is equal to x square root of x over two minus x. So in this case, u is equal to the square root of x, v is equal to two minus x. And we don't need to put the negative one around this anymore <clears throat> because we're assuming that it's u over v and so the product rule and the quotient rules give the exact same output, except usually it's easier to do it with the quotient rule. So we have dy over dx is equal to vd over dx. So that's 2 minus x up times d over dx, which is 1 half x to the negative 1 half minus u times dv over dx, which is square root of x times negative 1, all over v squared, which is 2 minus x squared. So this should actually just be plus the square root of x. And yeah, this should be it. So again, I'm not going to simplify because that's not the point of this exercise. You can if you want to. Um, I'll leave it to you to do that. So yeah, dy over dx is equal to that. So that's how to use the quotient rule. Now on to the next problem, we need to differentiate y is equal to one plus three x over x squared plus one. So u is equal to one plus three x, v, <clears throat> and unlike the product rule, in the quotient rule it really matters which order you put u and v, because you need to know that the denominator goes first when we go dy over dx is equal to so like it's equal to x squared plus one times d over dx which is three minus u times dv over dx so that's two x times one plus three x all over v squared which is x, plus, x squared plus 1 squared. So yeah, this is the answer. OK, on to the next question. We have, we need to differentiate the following functions. The first one being y is equal to x squared plus 2x over the square root of x cubed plus 1. So we have dy over dx. Oh, actually, let's label u and v first.
u is equal to x squared plus 2x and v is equal to x cubed plus 1 to the power of 1 half. So dy over dx must be equal to oh, um, vu minus vd over dx. So this is x cubed plus 1 to the 1 half times d over dx, which is 2x plus 2. minus u times dv over dx, which is x squared plus 2x times dv over dx, which is um, 3x squared. Oh, 3x squared times x cubed. Oh, sorry, 3x squared to the 1 half. So 3 over 2x squared. times x cubed plus 1 to the negative 1 half. And this is all over v squared, which is simply x cubed plus 1. Yeah. OK, next function. We have y is equal to 1 minus the square root of x over 1 plus the square root of x. So we have u is equal to 1 minus the square root of x v is equal to 1 plus the square root of x. And so therefore, we have dy over dx is equal to vu, so 1 plus square root of x times um, du over dx, which is 1 half, square, 1 half x to the negative 1 half. minus u times dv over dx. So this is 1 minus x, 1 half x, the negative 1 half. Uh, actually, hold on, this, this should be negative 1 half x to the negative 1 half. And this here should be, oh yeah, minus 1 half x to the negative 1 half times 1 minus x, square root of x this time all over v squared, which is 1 plus the square root of x squared. So yeah, this should be the answer. OK. On to the um, last two questions. So this one is y is equal to 1 minus 1 over 2 plus x to the 2 thirds. So you know, a much harder question, I guess. That's good. So we can clearly have to use chain rules. So this is equal to, well, let's say, um, let's call this w is equal to 1 minus 1 over 2x, over 2 plus x. And so the y is also equal to w to the 2 thirds. So we need to find dw over dx. And so we can label, well, I mean, we can really just do this by sight, but Let's label u as equal to 1 and v as equal to 2 plus x in order to differentiate this part. So dw over dx will be equal to, well, 0 minus, so u is actually minus 1, sorry. So this should be nothing since we have to differentiate u, which gives 0. So 0 times 2 plus x, which is nothing, minus u times dv over dx. So this should be 1 over dv over dx squared. So 1 over 2 plus x squared should be dw over dx. And so now dy over dx should be equal to dy over dw times dw over dx, which is equal to 2 thirds times dw over dx. So this is 2 over 3 times 2 plus x squared. Um, times w, which is 1 minus 1 over 2 plus x. 
to the negative one third. So yeah, this should be the very long answer to the question. Okay, on to the final problem. And the final problem is find the equation of the normal to the curve y is equal to eight over four plus x squared at x equals one, find the normal. Um, for your information, this curve is also known as the Witch of Agnesi. I don't know how to pronounce that, but it's also a very famous curve. So how do we differentiate this? Well, we have u is equal to eight, v is equal to four plus x squared. So we have dy over dx is equal to v times du over dx. So that's simply zero minus um, u times dv over dx. So u times dv over dx is eight minus eight times two x is minus 16 x all over v squared, which is four plus x squared. And so at x equals one, the gradient of this line will be equal to negative 16 over four plus one, five. So the gradient will be equal to negative 16 over five. And so, oh, sorry, this should be squared, v squared. So that should be negative 16 over 25. And so we need to find the gradient of the line now. Uh, this is x equals, x equals one, right? Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. yeah. And so we have, we need to find, oh, the normal to the curve though. And so the normal to the curve will be equal to 25 over 16. And so we know y is equal to 25 over 16 plus c. Let's find the coordinates of the curve at this point. So at this point, this is equal to eight over five, y equals eight over five. So we can plug that in. Um, so we have eight over five is equal to 25 over 16 X, which is one plus C. And so now we need to find the constant. So um, I guess we can make both of these over 80 Eight times 16 is equal to 128. 128 minus 25 times 5, 125 over 80. So this is, C is equal to that, which is equal to 3 over 80. So finally, Y is equal to 25 over 16X plus 3 over 80 looks like our answer. Let me check if that's correct. Oh, hmm. Hold on. Have I made an error? 25 times 5 is 125. 8 times 16 is oh, 128. Have I solved this wrong? 8 over 5. 8 over 4 plus x squared. x is equal to 1 is 8 over 5. Um, I, I don't know really where I could have gone wrong here because the book says the constant should be negative 17 over 80, but we're clearly getting three. So, um, I'm, I'm not sure really why that's the case. So I'm going to assume that I'm correct on this one. So yeah, this should be the final equation. And that will be the end of the speed run. I hope you enjoy the speed run. And I hope that um, you're looking forward to some more speed runs. See you then.